And hello again. It is week three in the NFL. Today we preview Jaguars at Patriots. Jags looked pretty good in the, the real NFL last week. Surprising surprisingly, Miami. Surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly. Pleasant surprise. So, um, and also as, as last week, uh, we accurately predicted a relatively close win by the Patriots where the Bills did a lot in the second half but not quite enough to to get ahead on the scoreboard and, and that seems to have played out fairly accurately right. in the real in the real NFL although uh, the Patriots pretty much had their number for the most part and played soft on them in the second half at least that's my take on it. Sure, sure 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 try again Rex yep and this, this, I'm just getting killed, <laughs> killed on the corners. Run defense but, is still looking solid, though. So. The run defense is stout, bro. Like, I played some ultimate team this week, and, and last night I had one of those solos against the, uh, against the Patriots. It's ultimate, ultimate team solos, and the linebackers are just too much to deal with. I don't even bother with trying to run on them. I love those <laughs> linebackers. The, yeah, the D tackles are just so so, but Jamie Collins, Dante Hightower. I love them. I just, yeah. I love the whole, yeah, I love the whole squad. Check out Not Gronkowski doing his thing. On the Patri Patriots first play of the game, I decided to mix it up and go to Not Gronkowski. And he <laughs> go to Chandler on a streak play action. Walks through a tackle. He's a, he's a tough guy. He's not as fast, but he had a nice lead. But he gets the job done. Play action gave him what he needed. Perhaps we should call him Not Aaron Hernandez. Do you ever do you ever wonder what might have been? I mean, yeah, you can't, to, to you an can't extent. feel bad. Like I guess had they lost that Super Bowl, it would it would probably put those thoughts in your head a little bit more. But when, they've won a Super Bowl since the Hernandez conviction. A beautiful interception by McCordy. He just sees it coming the whole way. Get it together, Blake. That was him, not me. <laughs> you guys know that, right? You know that. I believe that because I've played with Bortles like quarterbacks I'm trying to get the running game going and, and it does to an extent and how about this that was yeah guys that was that was the play that let me know it would be a long day when I when that happened I just put my head down and you may or may not hear it in my voice. I'm a little sick this week, and I wasn't feeling well that day. Amy was taking care of me, and I ended up we ended up off of the microphone from each other, and that happened. And it was like, okay, well, I'm just going to eat my chicken noodle soup and press buttons all game long. <laughs> well, it ended up working out for you better than, than initially expected. That was a nice pass defense, so those are so scary now. The patented Daniel Racco... Defensive end around play. You guys it, see that? <laughs> it, it only it only works every now and then, but <laughs> but it does get some pressure occasionally. It gets pressure, especially with my goofy deep drop backs. I'm trying to mix it up this year. Last year I played almost exclusively free safety. This this year I'm trying to mix it up with linebacker and, and D line play a little bit here and there. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but in the interest of Madden men rep online getting good, uh, D line play is just useless on here, bro. Like playing on the playing on the line this year. It does feel that way. Yeah, it's not nearly as rewarding as it was last year. The uh, the three and four times a game where I get a, around and get a little pressure, the the computer can probably do that just as well. Yep, you. you by you, I mean me might get through that offensive line three times a game. Mm. You know, you can get that green light, and unless you're just playing a horrible offensive line and a horrible quarterback, it's it's not going to matter. Right. It's not going to matter. You're probably better off trying to defend the pass or, or playing yep. the running back. Yep, absolutely. So a nice corner out uh, to Gronkowski gets us, gets us the lead after the Jags. Tied it up for a bit. But Bortles is looking composed back there, man. Like, I I never really felt like I was playing with... I never pe felt like I was playing with a bad team. That's something I'll say and about Jackson. And you know what? They're they're not a bad team. And they're they're kind of looking for real like they're not a bad team. They're, right? The receivers are solid. Um, Yeldon is a rookie, but he's going to get better. And when Robinson gets back, you've got 
uh, Denard, that is, because you got Allen Robinson at receiver. Sure. Uh, so you'll have two pretty solid running backs. Bortles has come along from the looks of it. The linebacker core has uh, felt very solid to me. So <laughs> if, if they can, but, you know. Get them, Blake. This. Get him, Blake. <laughs> so for however mad you were at Gronkowski making a one-hander that Tom Brady precision placed to him, I'm sure. mad at having <coughs> – I was being concerned enough about you running it in because there was no one in front of you. Right. So I ha someone has to come play the quarterback. Sure. Everybody come get him. And, yeah, it, it's like they waited for me to make the commit, and then they all committed to other things. It's like everybody froze. Right. That's what it like. Everybody froze. So – but here you we know, go. Here we go. Can't, I can't guard the middle. Somebody drop me a dime. What is it that I'm doing wrong? How come I can't guard uh, this route? Uh, you and me both. You and me both. And that, <laughs> you know, that's my third time seeing the play, and that's my first time really noticing how close, how very close we were. But uh, it doesn't matter because we're taking it to the half. We couldn't get to the line despite the ball in time. Getting the ball after the half and and tied up at half with Jacksonville. When I gotta say, in the first quarter, I thought I was gonna run away with this was, game. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a destruction derby. Or but me. then you know you start doing things like this. That'll do it. And uh, and you, I mean, this will be the second time that we give Jacksonville the ball in amazing field position. So of course. So what do we have to do? We just have to take care of the rock. And never run against <laughs> the, the Patriots, the Patriots ever again. What a bad not block pickup. I remember being upset then, and I'm upset again. Just touch the guy, and I get five yards, bro. It's disappointing, and, you know, we both do it, and we'll both complain about it probably for the foreseeable future, but when your guy catches it in the middle of three Patriots who weren't doing anything, it, yep. you know, yep. people have got to be open sometimes, or, or we'd be really bored playing a game where no one ever scored. But Come on, uh, Blake. He tried. He tried to do the thing with the thing again, and he it almost worked. And it he almost got away with it. it he, Had it not have been for McCourty putting hands on him, did the ball did the ball t get touched by McCourty, or did it just hit the guy in the chest? It looked like to me that he had it for a second and dropped it. Good grief, man! So we hold him to three, which is you know a, a very important. Considering the foot, the field position, that's not that's, yeah, that's, that's the ten, best you could expect. Ten points off turnover. For the Patriots, Tom Brady having a rough game, throwing picks to the Jags. <laughs> See the goofy animation? Hit him. Hit him. And then you're kind of finding ways to take, a, take away not so much the catches underneath, but the yards after catch underneath, which is almost as effective. We're holding us to a punt there. That's the thing. That's, that's something that I've learned. My controller is for crud these days. I think I actually pulled off of that one. But seems I just found out last night that I've got to get another controller. I've got two controllers. I have to swap them up because I'm kind of perma-stuck in one direction now. Mm. Is, it, is it time for the Elite controller? I'm feeling like it's time for the Elite I'm controller. I'm sort of having feels for it, too. God, these linebackers, bro. They're just thank mean. goodness. Thank goodness for them. They, they don't give up a whole lot on the run game and, and they're fairly smart out in coverage. What a pick. Thank you, you snatched Butler. it out of his hands, bro. That's why you punt people to to give yourself a chance and, and get that back. As you watch the Eagles game this week, remember that. But you guys don't see the fist pump. Give it right. Go my fist pump. Let me get that. Ah, let me get that. And nothing. Because I should have hit that hole with more conviction. Way to stay classy, America. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, that was a lot of cool stuff by Bortles. The way he counterspun to get his yep. his, his body realigned yep. for that play was very impressive. What'd you think I'll, of that punt, man? That was an excellent punt at the two, and I'm going to talk about something as fast as I can. You and I play each other so much that you know how I handle this situation and you played that as well as I would have but Gronkowski just got a little inside you know you like tradition thinks that I'm gonna run up the middle to try to get out of the zone but I've played enough people online to know that I can send a tight end out to get out of that situation and you knew it too because we would talked about it and yep. you were ready for it yep 
I just wasn't ready. But well, you were, but I mean, some, there's only so much you can do sometimes. Never had my car. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> had your car against Gronkowski. Throw it to the wide receiver. Just give it to him. Forever ago. Just give it to him. Yeah. See what he can do. That linebacker, that middle linebacker is vicious though. Poluski. Paul Puzzle. Puzzle. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's. A, he's a, I like him. He was giving Tom Brady fits. This I game. like him. Yeah, he was. Yes, he was. Where's it going? X? Of course it is. I would check down to Edelman. Who and gets Edelman rocked. gets popped. And hops right back up because he's Edelman. <laughs> Give me some more. He's and like a, he's like Buster Ryan. Give him some more. Third and one. I just I just want to keep this ball because I'm losing the game at this point. So sneak with Brady, which is true to form. All right. And a Hit him with a little shuffle? Yeah. Yeah, he had to reach for it, and Blunt gets the first I, down. I didn't see that I, during the game. I thought that was just a screen pass, but he hit him with a little shovel pass. Oh, oh, then and then wide open. And then wide open. I was looking at Your Edelman boy, and then seeing the guy running behind him. Your boy fell asleep at the wheel. Not, not, you you might have thought that was Blunt getting hurt, but no. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, whatever it looks like. Gronkowski and scores. Then, you see him slide into the end zone. I'm hesitating because I'm leaving 140 on the clock for Wesley. Yeah, yeah, I pulled off of him also. I was like, yeah, we, we've got to get him into the end zone. Just let him score. Sometimes that's all you can do. Because yeah. we got, we got B.A. Blake out here. He's going to handle his business. <laughs> what you going to do with The Rock? Nothing. Get speared. Get speared. Well, that's okay. Because the right, next play, we leave the middle of the field wide open because you can't make defenders defend the middle of the it's field. It's like that spot on double dribble. Um, if anybody remembers yeah. playing double dribble on the <laughs> NES, there's this spot just past half court where it you just make it rain from there. We're in a prevent there. We, we want you to score yeah. the first try because I need... All the time I can, the odds right. of me stopping you or holding you to a tie game are so low. I seriously considered taking a knee. I, and I considered that you would do that, and I was really, I was going to be really bummed out if you did. So, uh, hits me with the screen because I wasn't looking. Yep, just trying to get get out of bounds, get a little little distance there, and oh and no. And there it is. Oh no. And there it is. And there it is. I did not expect it to be that easy. God, I, but I they wish let we, Gronkowski get behind the linebacker, and the safety jumps on it too soon. Hopefully, you guys will see on the replay. I played the Daniel Racco wide receiver screen. <laughs> I was trying to be prepared for that, putting my guy in the underneath zone gotcha. in position, and it just it, it was no good. So finally, you don't guess my play. Finally, because I it does feel like you and I are still playing Take My Ball a lot of the time. <laughs> and then. Bortles and Bortles decides maybe not so clutch against the Patriots and he overthrows this guy <sighs> And we're just gonna get out of here because that's, that's all you can do so we escape the Jacksonville Jaguars Escape the Jaguars in a game that felt like it was gonna be a long game for us going into it Yeah, and yeah that first quarter I was again. I was prepared man. I've got my chicken noodle soup I got my uh, I got my orange juice and NyQuil. Brady throws one pick, and the Jags are like, "Okay, we can win this game. Let's let's go." Absolutely, it was a ball control game. And yeah, the Patriots secondary just the the Jags receivers are good enough and fast enough that it just gave them it gave them trouble. Clutch. Maybe I could have blitzed more, but blitzing in this game just hasn't felt like the answer to anything so far. To anything, bro. So those offensive lines are. I just feel like if I send rough. three or six, I get the same chance of pressure on the quarterback. Yep. So might as well drop yep. the guys back. Realistically, yeah, though, you know, with the we, can, <coughs> I think you know the the Patriots, the actual Patriots, can can get to Bortles a little and. And not allow those deep balls because he's got to make quicker decisions. And hopefully, when he makes those quicker Check decisions, out those rushing yards, fans. Yeah, and that's a shame. If you guys, anyone who's followed us for a while, can go back and look at my rushing yards from last year, and and see a huge drop off. I was a real threat to go eighty to hundred yards rushing every game. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, things have, have changed quite a bit. Things so, change, Mox. Well, jumping into the the actual football this week, and, and we'll make our AFC picks here. 
starting with uh, the one o'clock game with the Colts and the Titans, where I think these are two not so good teams. The Colts, uh, we, you and I both picked Jets, sort of hopefully, well for me anyway. Yeah. And uh, we're right by quite a margin, or the or the Jets just shut Andrew Luck down, and he couldn't do anything against the Jets. Now the Titans, week one we thought they looked good against the Bucks. Right. Week two, uh, they look terrible. Yeah. Against the Browns. So I got to pick Colts to, to get it together and beat the Titans. I, yeah, I have a, hard, have a hard time picking against them. Uh, one little anecdote that I heard on the way in, uh, they were talking about uh, the Colts and Andrew Luck and whether or not he's overrated um, <laughs> on the ESPN radio on my way in. Uh, and apparently he has... Same touchdown to interception, or a very similar touchdown to interception uh, ratio as your man Andy Dalton over the past three years. And everyone consistently says that Andy Dalton is not good, yeah. although uh, he's looking pretty good this year. Right on. You know, one difference between the two apparently is offensive lines. Uh, o line is getting killed for the Colts lately. Uh, so Titans Colts may be a close game, but we'll. You've got to say Colts, right? Like they've got the better team. Uh, so I'll go Colts also, but in theory yeah, little, they do. Yeah, a little interesting anecdote. I wouldn't be surprised either way. I'll pick Colts though. Colts seem like safer money. Yeah, for as much as I want the Colts to lose all their games, I, I feel like they'll get it together soon. And sure, if they'll probably you know if they win one game this year, it's probably going to be against the Patriots just to make me miserable. Of course. Of uh, course. so Raiders Browns don't you know I'm I'm saying don't. Get your hopes up for Johnny Menzel. Uh, Travis Benjamin made him look a lot better than he was. I mean, the, like you, you look at their points, and one's a Benjamin punt return, one's a bomb to Benjamin, where any good defense shouldn't have let Benjamin get behind sure. him like that. So, and then for a lot of the rest of the game, it was the same Johnny Menzel that we've always known. Although McCown is starting this week, that gives the Browns a little more uh, the smart playmaking at quarterback. I think the Raiders look good. The Raiders have a little momentum beating the the Ravens. Sure. I just think they're a pretty good-looking team right now. I'm going to take the Raiders here. Well, Team Amari, I'll go for the Raiders also. I don't have much to say. Uh, you guys know how I feel about Manziel. Last week, uh, <laughs> two bad teams played. One bad team had to win uh, when it comes to Browns, Ra Browns uh, Titans. Uh, I'm going to take the Raiders in another uh, two bad teams playing uh, situation. Team Amari. Bengals, Ravens. And I think maybe, maybe, and I'm probably wrong, but we'll see. Maybe some momentum starting to shift, and the Bengals may be a better team than the Ravens, finally. They're looking overall better yeah. the first yeah. couple of weeks. And again, you know, what we thought we knew week one didn't really help us in week two because so much of, you know, if you were making all your decisions on one week, then you were wrong about a lot of things in week two. Sure. And it's still just two weeks, but... right. The Ravens don't. Flacco is just, is is what I always say that he is, which is you know if he's not throwing bombs, guys like Torrey Smith who aren't there anymore. He's an above average quarterback. Yes. An average to above average quarterback. Yes, he's, he's not a hundred million dollar quarterback. No, he may be the most overpaid quarterback in the league. Oh, you easily. know you're preaching to the choir there. I had never understood that decision. He should. He should give Ray Lewis a percentage of his paycheck, every paycheck he receives, because Ray petitioned and petitioned and petitioned for that man Ray and got him paid mm. and got him. Whatever. You guys quit giving quarterbacks so much credit for Super Bowl wins. Good grief. That's all I got. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I want to say about that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll take Bengals. Bengals defense looks good. Yeah, me too. Offense is clicking. Me too. Jags, Patriots. I think this game, so far the Patriots get out to big leads and then they, they soften up a little bit and the other team kind of figures out some things to do and then the Patriots sort of hold on for a win, but they still look pretty... They look consistently impressive on offense. The defense seems to bend a little more in the second half. Sure. I think that the Jags, I, I hope good things for them, but not this week. And you need some I more bricks in their pockets. Be huh? Belichick is, is just... He's gonna know what to do to 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 put to put Bortles in into bad situations sure. because that's really their running game isn't so good yet that they're gonna have to pass the ball a lot and and I think I think 
they're going to be in for a rough day. So I'll take the Patriots by two scores. It wouldn't surprise me if, if it was three scores. Sure. Um, you guys know how I feel about Belichick. I think he's the best. I'm, I'm giving Belichick the greatest of all time name already. He's, he's my favorite coach. Um, but I've got family down in Jacksonville, so I'm going to go for the Jags. Mm-hmm. I, whatever, I, I don't believe this 100% or even 35%, but I'm going to say Jags for the sake of interest. I'll be pulling for them, and I'll be happy for the Patriots to come out and add another chapter to the screw everybody for jumping on the hate on the Patriots summer that we just had. I feel like this season may be a a nationwide get off our back campaign going on. A, yeah, this may go down as one of those seasons and it, it just feels that way early on. That offense is absurd and Gronkowski is who who we thought he was. So, whatever, I'm going to, just for the sake of interest, say Jaguars, but you guys know what it is. Real quick, last week, Bills Patriots at Buffalo. A lot of trash talk from Rex and the Bills before the game. Always. And do you know that they actually, pat, like, you know how sometimes you go to the game and they give you a free little football or free hat or something for okay. showing up? Yeah. They gave away air pumps. Did they? In Buffalo last I love, week. whatever, I love Rex. You got, I love him, I love him, I love him. And I love him. Edelman scored two touchdowns. Um, once, double covered, bracketed, and still gets away and gets sure. touchdown. Edelman's so amazing to me. He's, I think he's just one of the best receivers in the league. Right on. But anyway, on his touchdowns, his touchdown celebration is, <laughs> as in, I'm pumping up air, right? uh, you know, and and I just I just love the, uh, the his energy, his the, whole vibe, the energy, and and how they deal with with all this negative sure. stuff coming their way, and it's almost sure. like they just just love it. I was worried it was going to affect Brady's psych psyche going into the year, but <sighs> not in not in any. He's had it. He threw 400 yards against Bro. the Bills defense. Bro, okay. I know we said we were going to be quick with this. I'll add one more thing. You know, you know, you guys know I don't, and I'm going to air quote say I kill Brady with I don't think he's that guy. I think he's good and great, and the things that he does, he does better than than a lot of players. He's mentally in games more than more than most. He gets out there and he's mentally prepared. Um, but I kind of knock him physically at times, and that's it's hard to say considering he's such a big and massive and physically imposing guy. But he drove the ball down the field on one play in particular. I can't even remember who the receiver was. But it was a good 20, 25 yards down the field just on a frozen rope, bro. And I was like, okay, well, there's that arm. I, what can I say about this team now? Gronkowski gets open whenever he feels like it. They ignore him. And Brady's driving the ball like like he's playing Madden 15 or Madden 16. So cheers to the Patriots. You guys are looking like world beaters. So, there's that. Moving on, because I can talk Patriots I'm for, sure. for too long. I'm but, sure. So, we'll move on, and we'll be quick with this one, because we have another show where we'll, we'll, we'll go a little more in-depth with this. So, Eagles, Jets. I just got to believe that the uh, losing some guys, losing Kiko. Is Kiko out for a while? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll be brief. The Jets' defense looks a little scary. Their offense is so-so. I don't believe in Fitzpatrick because I've got too much of a body of work to show me that he's just not consistently sure. good. I won't, there was a time where I, where I rooted for him, but he just he just tends to make a lot of bad throws. But uh, he's got some good players around him for yeah. the most part. Uh, it must be nice. They're going to New York, but I'm going to believe in the Eagles to get it together this week. And, and Chip Kelly can only be told by – everyone that has ever seen a football game ever <laughs> to to when you spend the money to have three running backs you should rush for more than you know say 20 yards a game or i think uh rich eisen said that at this rate demarco murray is on pace to rush for 88 yards this season 
this season. I don't. Yeah, I've got uh, nothing to say. But not, yeah, we'll we'll talk Good more grief. about that. Check out our Eagles Eagles game. I'm Wesley, picking the Eagles. I won't pick. I won't. I will not pick against my team. But I'm not. That's gonna, all I have to say about that. I'm not going to tell you guys if Wesley wins this week because I want you guys to watch. But I'll tell you that Wesley shows Chip Kelly a few things on how to operate the Eagles offense. Uh, so using your playbook, Chip. Using the Eagles playbook and the Eagles Good players. Lord. And a little bit of common sense. <laughs> so moving on, Bucks Texans. I, I I'm gonna take the Texans and on a game where uh, I just hope that Red Zone doesn't force me to watch this game too much. There's a couple teams that aren't. I'm gonna say it at week three. They're not going to the playoffs. Neither one of these teams are going to the playoffs. Well, so. How would they not make the playoffs? They have the best thing in football going for them. They got Mister NFL on their team. Uh, with the Texans? Yeah. Or, uh, so you were talking about J.J. Watt, right? Or yeah. or what? Yeah, J.J. Watt. Uh, okay. He's, well, he is. He's like he's the logo. He's like the like Jerry West is the logo for the NBA. J.J. Watt is clearly the logo for the NFL this year. He is the best defensive end by leaps and bounds, and maybe the best player in the league. The sure. Best physical specimen. He is a monster. He's a monster. He plays one out of eleven positions at any given point, whether he's playing tight end, tackle, linebacker, end. All that. Uh, he doesn't play quarterback or receiver. He well, will. He, Don't worry. He uh, will. He will. Uh, there's a lot of positions that he can't. He can only play the one at a time is the real problem, and there's the other ten guys. Now, granted, the defense is pretty solid that, yeah, with uh, yeah, John Joseph and, and what, Jadavian Jadavian Clowney, Clowney's yeah, uh, yeah, healthy yeah. this year. But Yeah, Jadavian's a nice bookend for him over there, bro. I, you feel a little more positive about Ryan Mallett than I do. I think Mallett is, a, is Mallet not looked good. Like a le- I don't. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he's good. <laughs> I do not think Mallett is good at all. I'm, I'm an SEC guy, and I remember this kid. I don't think he's. He good. went to he, Michigan for a while. I remember this guy. He, yeah, he clearly has a strong arm. There's there's nothing you can take away from him there. But my biggest knock against him. Is and it's the knock that everybody has against them. It's the mental stuff, right? And so, what I'm the compliment I'm about to give him is a really big compliment. He looked like a leader. He looked like he was in control of his team, like the, like the, t- and I didn't watch all the game at all, but the moments that I saw looked like he was a guy who was in control of his huddle, and he knew what was going on, and he knew what he wanted to happen. So. Maybe he's on the right track, and I feel like all of that is a testament to the time that he spent in the best organization in the league. Time spent in New England studying under Brady and doing whatever Belichick tells you to do it yeah. can definitely help you out a bit. Yeah, watching, watching Brady and going to the Church of Belichick. I, uh, I think the Texans are going to play some mind games with Jameis Winston. I, I almost want to take the Bucks because I'm really down on O'Brien's decision making to name Hoyer the starter and then pull him after a week. Mm-hmm. Pull him after three quarters. Right. And, it, and it, now he's kind of, I don't know. Uh, but I think that the Texans defense is better than the Bucks offense. So I'll, And they're at home. I'll take Texans. Okay. Well, I, I can't pick the Bucks, even though I want to for for our friend uh, Dusty, <laughs> a.k.a. Christ. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Texans. I'd like to see I'd like to see uh, Jameis step up to the challenge of handling Watt and Clowney, but it's it, that's a hard sell, so Texans, final answer. A lot of uh, AFC, NFC matchups this week. Chargers at Vikings. I mean, or do you want to quick call that one? Yeah. Chargers? Chargers. Yeah, Chargers. All right. Steelers at Rams. Steelers. Steelers, lock them up. That's my lock of the week. If any team's going to, if I'm going to be right about one thing this week, Steelers over Rams. Lock it in. Oh, uh, yeah? Lock it in. I'm s- such a believer in that Rams defense, but I believe in the Steelers' entire team. Steelers. Steelers. Yeah. Uh, Bills at Dolphins. I'm going Bills. Yeah. 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 Bill, Dolphins just lost to the Jags. Rex is 
so mad about Rex losing is the so Patriots. mad right now. His, the defense is I believe the defense is so much better than it looked against the Patriots. It's just poor Rex and I love him you know all but two games of the year. Yep. Uh the guy must be so frustrated at how Belichick is just 90% of the time guy is not on, bro. Yeah. Just, God, we uh, talk your trash all game long, Rex. Get your fans to come in with their air pumps. Belichick, and I'm just going to take your team apart. He, he said, you know, he said names like Brady and Belichick and, and Gronkowski all week. Belichick's press conferences, he never drops a name. He, he says players and coaches. Yep. And uh, Belichick, him. Belichick. He's is, the best. He is. They'll never be. I, I, I don't know that we'll ever see a guy as, as crazy awesome and, and uh, I mean, yeah. Belichick's just great. But, he's, yeah, he's, he's the man. Um, and let's see, we'll wrap the week up on, oh no, we got two, we got a yeah. Monday night or two. So on Sunday night, we've got Broncos at Lions, which at one point, and it's still early, I could be wrong, at one point that would have looked like a good, fun matchup, but the Lions aren't looking so good to me. And the Broncos, I think, I think after what happened at, at Kansas City, they're probably going to say, you know what, maybe, maybe let's just run Peyton's offense the rest of this year until Peyton's gone, and then we'll, then we'll... You know, Kubiak, please. Are you kidding me? Peyton Manning. Right. All he does. And now it, let's not even get into playoffs. But Peyton Manning wins games, he, and he, he gets you into the playoffs. Yeah, and then you. But by, by then you've got all year to have figured out how you want to address things and mesh your styles. Correct. But let Peyton do what works because obviously he knows when he's in control, you score points, and when Kubiak's calling plays, you don't. So. That tells me that Peyton's a better coach than Kubiak right the now. End. That's which is sad, but let's just go that way. Sure, done and done. Broncos. So Broncos. Chiefs at Packers is the Monday night game. I think this can be a cool, it's fun be game. A fun heck game. Of a game. Um, but that being said, you you argued this with me uh, a couple weeks ago that that you feel like Aaron Rodgers is better than Brady. And I'm not willing to concede that yet. But when oh, yeah. I, when I watch Rodgers play the Seahawks, I'm like, this guy is so good. Yeah, so good. Yeah. And what he has that Brady doesn't have is the ability to run the ball. Yeah. I mean, almost as well as anybody. Yeah. Uh, you he, know, he, he's not going to make thirty yards like arm. Kaepernick. Yeah, Brady just never has a guy to throw it deep to. I don't. But but Aaron Rodgers does have some fire on those some of those throws yes Yes. uh and i'm i've always been a big fan of him always been a big fan of him i'm not ready to concede that he's better than brady but i can definitely you understand understand the argument argument. yeah yeah and his decision making (coughs) is looking so good like the times he threw the ball away last week i'm like just not forcing anything taking what's he's not that dumb athlete and can fit the ball into the tightest of windows and then he smiles Yes. After every play. Oh, and his mental games he likes to play with the defense it. before the snap. Love and, it, bro. And, I love uh, it. And as good as the Chiefs has been looking and as much as I want them to win, I, I just, I'm not going to tell you something I don't believe. So I believe Packers, and it may, be, it may get out of hand. Sorry, Andy. Um, yeah, I think th- this season already feels like Packers-Patriots on a collision course. And... I've wanted to see that for a while. That feels like, oh, you're not going to like this. That feels like Rocky versus the Russian. It feels like Rocky IV to me, where the Patriots are this machine that is <laughs> well-oiled, whatever, whatever, whatever. We've got the the EKG device strapped on to Brady, and <laughs> he's sitting in his... Uh, he's sitting in his... Uh, bath full of whatever you know and attached to a machine every single day he's <laughs> doing his reps and every single day every single day every coolest commercial on tv right now coolest football commercial on tv Love right it. now and aaron Rodgers is running around chasing chickens man so <laughs> so i'm yeah i'm very interested in this collision course and i think the packers are clearly on a mission Get well, Eddie Lacy. He's out for how long? Not as long as uh, we initially thought. He it, there's there was yesterday. Now you may have heard something more recent than me. It was possible that they're gonna 
play him in a limited role on Monday. Oh, really? That, that it doesn't look as, as bad it. as initially thought. Well, maybe it's not that bad. Whatever. Um, you guys know more than me. I would Sorry. I would use Starks until proven otherwise and try sure. to and try to give Lacey a week sure. off. Uh, so that's going to do it for the AFC Patriots show this week. Thanks for watching. We'd love it if you give us a like or subscribe below. Check out the Eagles NFC uh, web show for week three. Yeah, watch the NFC show, not the Eagles show. Who cares? What's going on with my team? Uh, Number one pick. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we'll see you there. Thanks for watching.